Hello and welcome to EREF. Sorry as I'm having some sound issues here. We are here bringing you another COD forecast tonight as we are on MP underscore City Street. So this is CVOP lower bracket finals. So the winner of this match will be going to the finals of CVOP and playing for the number one spot in this last season of COD 4, which I would believe it's the last season. If it's not, I'm terribly sorry for that. But we are bringing you carnal and psychological gaming tonight. And I'm joined by Dream Girl tonight. Dream Girl, how are you? I'm it, good. How are you, Devin? Pretty actually, good. I'm pretty Lady excited. Gaga tonight. Oh. Okay, sorry. sorry. La as Lady Gaga is joining me on the mic tonight. <laughs> I'm I'm a big fan. You know, I just can't get enough of her music. It's just the poker face. I the poker face just gets me every time. Not gonna. You know, lie. it's a great song. I gotta tell you. <laughs> and uh, looks like these teams are gonna be putting on their poker faces tonight. We have a pretty good match tonight. For sure, and we're going to be getting into this knife round here. For, uh, I'll go over the roster rundown real quick while I have the time. For Carnal, we have Junin, Glad, Conquer, Nova, and Master. And for Psychological Gaming, we'll be having Reggie, which is Stompin', Force, Magic, Cracker, and N Nicholas, but it's really Limitless, so just trying to do a little... It's probably trying to confuse us, whatever Limitless can do. It possibly will do. But in this knife round, it's going to be extremely boring anyways. It is City Streets, like I said. Boring map. Well, not a boring map. It's a fun what? map, I'd have to say. I think but it gets boring at times. Great map. It gets boring at times, though. Like, if you play really slow, then it just gets boring. You know, you obviously, you're just you're new to this, so, uh, you know, I'm this is a great this. map, I have to tell you. I'm, I, I don't know what to say right now. I'm kind of here now. I just, <laughs> I just got told by a girl I'm new to this. I, I just, I'm sad. Oh, it's okay. It's going to be okay. I'm sad. I'm going to have to cry in a little bit. But anyways, oh, well, who do you think you will come out on top of this? You know what? I am a huge, huge fan of Force. One of, actually, one of the best players, I think. And just a great all-around guy. He's pretty much my neighbor. So I'm going to have to go with Psycho. I, I really am. I'm sorry. Just I'm going to have to, yeah. He's going to come through. I know it. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to have to agree. I'm going to have to go with Psycho as well. As I was, when I did cast the, I believe it was the, the upper bracket finals, I did say that, you know, Psychological Gaming and Loaded would face off finals once again. But, but you know, this Carnal game has been on the hot streak. Winning winning these matches in this lower bracket pretty much just hanging on to what they have left of this team. I mean, they did not play for a super long time, so it's kind of crazy to see that they're still in this and still pretty much almost on their way to finals. And hopefully they'll make it, but I, st I still got to tell you, I really think that Psycho's going to come out on the top for this one. Yeah, I mean, I have to agree. What do you think the score will be, though? Uh, what do I think the score will be? I think it's going to be 13... Hmm. Why you got to put me on the spot like that? I'm going to say 13-7. 13-7? We're not even getting them. Yeah. Come on. Well, okay, fine. 13-10. <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> you can't, you can't change I'll it now. It it's a 13-7 final. Nope. No, uh, okay, 13 okay, seven okay. was your final answer. There's no redos uh, in this game. There's no redos? Okay, let's hear. We'll we'll change it up a little bit. What do you think the score is going to be at half? At half, it's going to be a 7-5 half in favor of psychological game. You think? I think they're going to have... Yeah. Uh, you know what? i gotta, I got to say a little bit more than that. I really, really do. I'm going to have to say... I'm going to say 8-4 at least. 8-4. I'll go with 7-5 and a 13-9 final as a final score. Okay. Now that you stuck and I will it, win because I'm always right. Actually, that's what, that's one thing I realize is I'm always right. So I'm sorry. Beginner's luck. <laughs> Beginner. See, this is the whole new thing again. I'm just get. Oh, I. Uh, I feel so butthurt. Let's right have now. a little fun with it. How long is this game uh, around again? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, finally, we're starting this match here. Psychological gaming starting on that defense side. Carnal starting on that attack side. I'm gonna watch Force here off the start with that scope as always. Let's see what he can do here. Looking at mid, which pretty much is the common spot to pick on this defense side. But Lim will be taking down Glad here with that opening nade. As it's the only one that did come out here. As there goes Force going in to master their great shot as he jumped across on top of that uh, mannequin area. He's on that wall there. Kind of hanging dangerously. If, if Carnal was smart, they would get a oh, Force with another great shot onto the scope there, which is Conquer. And Lim will take down Nova. So does all up to Junin here now. Where is Junin? He's back in that parking lot. He does have an SMG though. Bomb is over down by that big alley area towards that mid area. He is going to make some noise. 
give away his position now. He's going to get fired at, but he's going to have a man to his left here in a second. And, oh, Lim fails with the dig, but Force will be there to pick up his third kill of the round. So great round there. It's great starting round coming out of Psychological Game. Dream Girl. I, you know what? I told you, these guys are just... So, like I said, one of my favorite players, solid as heck, and just all around a great, great team player. I'm sitting here watching Junin, and you know, it just seems like, it kind of almost just seems like Carnal just didn't, they're not bringing their A game tonight, they're not ready for this. Uh, well, you never know, I mean, this team doesn't really get to play much, and just things have been going on with them. I mean, Master's playing tonight, who usually, I'm not too, I'm not sure as hype, I believe, usually plays in for Master. But you know, maybe Master is of what they've been <laughs> going on this hot streak lately. But Glad's got to find, Glad and Juno are going to be finding kills there. So now it's back and forth. It is a 2 on 4 situation right now. Kraka and Lim all left for psychological gaming here. Where's well Kraka? He is on that B side. He did spot one in the alley. He's got to wisely play back and not go for the shot. But, it, but oh, there's Glad there. It's, oh, Glad had the kill on him but could not finish as Master will go into Kraka and Lim will go into Conquer. So now it's a 1. One on two here. Lim is the last player left. That is limitless. Where is he at here? Let's see. He's got to be coming out, out of that B alley area. As he does have to go up against Junin and Master. Bomb is down. Master is just hanging out over on that fence area. And Junin at the top of the street with that AK-47. As Junin did spot him. Master's going to fire some shots off into that B house. No tags coming down though. For as there goes as limitless finally making his way. Push towards that site. But really had no luck there with Junin on the top of that street with that AK-47. So why don't you go ahead and take this round there, Dream? <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to have to start with, of course, my favorite player, Force, as I'm watching here, him go and <clears throat> pick the alley on the way to B. Oh, you know what? I'm wrong, actually. There he goes. I love this kid. He's just got a great, great mind for the game. Smoking at B pretty well. He hasn't gotten any shots. Looks like it's definitely going to be a nice flip. A nice little B-run. A lot of the uh, Cardinal players are scattered. It's actually a 3v4 situation, too. Nova sees body saw somebody over in church. What are you seeing over there, Devin? Well, I'm looking at Force here. Is he still playing on that back straight? I want to see what this Cardinal team's going to do. It looks like Nova is that designated bomb carrier for this Cardinal team. He is going to be pushing towards that A site, which is completely open here. Now, as they've worked, it, worked this into a 2v3, as Nova is going to be getting that bomb down. As, let's see, Conquer here at the scope. He's got his SMG in hand right now, though. He's going to be on that top A house, pulling out that scope. Now, Nova's made his way back to parking lot. And where is Glad at? He's back here in the spawn, so he's going to find a kill right here. As he is going to be playing off, and he will take down Cracker there. So now it's all up to Force here in the 1v3. Does have an AK-47 out right now. Going to be spamming some shots into that house. And there goes Glad. Yeah. In, in, got to find that kill, so it's a 2-1. to 2-1 to one now in favor of Cardinal. So uh, would you like to change yeah, just no, I'm not going to favorite little it. beginner's I'm... luck. Come on now. You know, you agreed <laughs> with me that Psycho's really going to pull this out. So, I really think they are. I mean, they got to settle down a little bit. I'm going to have to take back what I said about Carnal earlier. As I'm sitting here actually watching Junin going around to B with his SMG. Try to pick off Force, but it didn't work. Oh. Oh. Nice shot, Force. They just have an exceptionally good shot, but Carnal's already down two members here at the start of this round. Was glad to see Force there on the other side of that mannequin, and he's he peeked up, but nothing. There goes Magic coming up on that mid stairs. Force will get an eight kill, and then Limitless will be there to clean up that round, it's taking out Glad. So it is all tied up two two. Right, see, right when I opened up my mouth, there goes Psychological see? coming back and uh, picking never up said that anything. round <laughs> in a very quick manner too, which is the sad part. But let's go ahead and go into Carnal's war room this round. For Christ's sake. You know. Hey Arch. What a fucking faggot. I'm gonna beat bomb. Wow. He's dead. Where was that kill at then? Nate is at B. He was on B bomb, but he could be anywhere. Mannequin. You just passed bomb, Josh. Behind B. Far B. Is not mannequin in. Mannequin. I'm trying to work the. Wander. Wander. He knows you're there. Top B road. 
Alright, we're back now. Kraka picking up that final kill there on the Master with that AK-47. So now it is in favor, 2-3, to three, in favor of the Psychological Gaming Team, which is on defense. So, which is, I would say personally, is the easier side on this map. But it can really go either way. Whether the attack likes to, you know, do a pick strat and decide which way to go on either side, it really dictates the state of the game anymore of what your strat is with this game being so old. If you just do something basic, but that's going to help Psycho's psychologicals pretty much round here as they're just going for a team ace now as masters the last last one left up as a double nade kill went down as whoever as i believe that's limitless now with uh, that double nade kill and getting that smg kill in that parking lot area picking up three kills there dream yeah that was an awesome kill awesome nade but like you said you know this game has been out for a while so a lot of a lot of good nade kills and you know definitely uh definitely it's time for Oh my goodness gracious, here we go again. Glad's picking up a nice nade kill on Limitless. As they're looking like they're setting up crackers sitting on a uh, front church. There's Jude in there picking up a kill. So it's, these rounds are pretty much going really like back and forth style. I mean, it's you really cannot tell which way they're going to go until it gets in there. So it gets deeper into the round with uh, the slower player here coming out of Carnal really kind of holding that bomb back towards that mid with Nova. But Nova right now does have an SMG. He is in that mid. Crack is going to find Concrete here though to even it up into a 3v3. As it is June and Nova and Glad going up against. Oh, make that going up just against Crack and Magic now. As Nova will be getting that bomb down at the A site. Looks like uh, looks like Glad here will be moving his way back towards that. Uh, Towards that A house, gonna be playing. Looks like that gay corner area, I believe. Maybe not, but there goes Kraka into June as he shot him from underneath the car. So it is a two on two. Magic pulling out this AK-47 in this A arch area. Let's see if they can make a spot on that bomb. As Glad is is in that A arch, he will get a headshot there on the Magic. So does all to Kraka here now. He is in that A house, and there goes no the 47 shot there on to Kraka to make this three four. So is this a little closer than you expected, Dream? It is actually. I'm a little nervous now. I gotta tell you, I almost want to revise my uh, score. But you know, I gotta have faith in my psycho team. They're gonna do. They're gonna pull it out. You want to revise yours yet? I think you were right behind me. <laughs> I'm going with five. The set five half and 13 to nine win for uh, Psycho. I think they will pull it off here. Limitless definitely going coming in hot right now with the 10 five score, and then Crack is right behind with a nine and three for the. For this Cardinal team, you have Glad here, who's 8 and 5, and then the next closest is June, which is 5 and 7. Make that Glad picking up another kill, so he's at 9 and 5. So Glad's definitely doing his part here in this match for this Cardinal game, and as he definitely does want to get up into the Sevo P final, going up against Loaded, which would be a very interesting match, and the least come this Cardinal side, who is really an underdog throughout this entire uh, this entire playoffs, really. But it's a 2 on 2 situation right now. Master and Glad going up against Limitless and Stomping. See if they can possibly pull this one out. Looks like they, the bomb here is down on the mid stairs. You, not really sure where they want to go with it, as you do have Stompin' up in this parking lot area, and then you have Limitless, who's back in the champagne room. And Glad, yep, they, they've dedicated towards this B push, as Glad still thinks so. That someone is over at this B, even though really it is wide open for them, and they could get a quick plant down extremely fast, and they could set up easily as Masters in the B house now. As finally this plant will be going down here from Glad, as I hope they heard it. As Limitless here is already up in this alley. See if they can possibly find Master, who is on these B stairs. As always, going to make noise. Not the smartest as Master here is in that B house. As there he goes, Master will find Limitless, and Master oh. will find Stop in there. So it is tied it all up. There's great round out of Master. They're cleaning up that final round and even it all up. You know what, if they came in as the underdogs, they're really not showing it tonight. Uh, you know, I take back what I said earlier, they are definitely bringing their aim game, A game on tonight. Uh, especially Master at that last round. Seemed to uh, yep, struggle a little bit in the first couple rounds, but they, they settled down really nicely. Yeah, most definitely. Look at that, Carnal is already down two members here at the start of the round once again, and that's never good. What you want to see, it coming out of the Psycho team, which I said earlier, is when you lose members early in the round, and there's Glad, he's going to be getting heavily tagged up, but Nova will find Limitless there to turn this into a 3-on-4. Glad will get his regen back on Nova. It's that bomb carry, so it looks like they're just doing some sort of a pick strat here, as Nova did find did find a player in that B house. He's got to tag up Magic, but no kill will go down. So Nova here, 
all they gotta mark, work this towards that uh towards that B side or that A side. You do have magic working that alley side. You do have glad that's in the mid though. Conquers back on that uh back in that mid with the scope. They have A pretty much secure. If Nova, there you go. Finally, Nova is making that bomb. Making that push with the bomb towards that A house. It seems like every round, they're really opening up that B side there for Carnal. And if Carnal could maybe get in there quicker or just do a quicker push. But there goes Kraka into Conquer and Magic into Nova. So oh. Psycho will pick up this round with ease as it was a 2 on 3. And they just went down way too quick. They didn't have time to set up. And I mean, they just seem like they're playing way too passive when they're opening up these sites. I agree. I, you know, they're really not being aggressive enough once the sites are open. I think Carnal definitely needs to take a look at that if, you know, for further uh, future games if they do win this tonight. But I got to say, you know, this is a really close match. Both teams have really, really brought it, brought it tonight, which is nice to see. No, uh, yeah. no nade kills off to the start for me for either team, so it's still a 5v5 situation. What are you seeing over on your side? I'm just kind of peeking around, seeing what they're really going to do with this bomb. Is I just want to see what Carnal really has in plan. I mean, Glad is the bomb carrier now, and it's just not making any sense. So they're opening up sites pretty fairly easy for them, and if they just push it together, as Conquer is going to run into a firefight over here with Reggie, who is at, behind that A house, as if they, there's just one more kill there that they have to get, and they will open up that A site, as there we go, as Conquer will find him now. And Glad could rotate that bomb, and there he goes. He is on the bomb. Good to be getting that plant down, and you do have Kraka. Going in the top of that A house, you have magic in that mid. He's gonna flash him, and oh yeah, glad is flash, but he will get away fairly easily. As Kraka does does go into con conquer now. Sorry about that. And those Kraka and magic going up against glad here. Oh, great shot out of glad going on to Kraka. It is a one on one now. As magic is gonna push him, and glad had nice. no idea. And magic will pick up that round, so they are gonna take a two round advantage here for this psychological gaming side and they are Explosive like I just said so it's definitely what you want to see, see? You want to be picking up rounds on defense and not having to be losing going into attack exactly and you know what like we had discussed earlier it's uh, already 4-6 so I, I'm hoping uh, my 4-8 half, uh, half game total is correct but we'll see nice force picking up a nice kill on Conquer and it looks like Junin's about almost about going down. Oh, he came back. I think. Nice. Yeah, I mean, look at this. I mean, you have Connell here. And early off the round, when psychological gaming really isn't losing anyone off the start of the round, they need to get, work out some better nades or something here on this side. As they finally did nade Force, who was pretty much standing on that wall back in that mannequin area, not getting harmed at all and just hanging out there. So that's just. I don't know, I mean, they're just losing too many people at the start of the round. It's a 2v4 right now with uh, 55 seconds left on the bomb. I believe Nova will have that bomb. Yes, he does. He's back on that, back on the uh, the catwalk area. Kraka does find one on four now as Nova's going to try firing some shots off on that other side of that mannequin area, but nothing is going to land. He does have 40 seconds to work here. He does have the bomb, make it a little bit easier. Doesn't have to go find it. He did spot the SMG, who I believe is mad, but it doesn't matter because Limitless will be there to take him down with that headshot. Four to seven. Now, as psychological, it might possibly be this one. Not too sure. It's too early to tell what the way these, some of these rounds have going. Really? Right, anyways, we'll be getting into another round here. 4 to 7, as this is the final round of the. I want to follow four okay. series. We have not seen what he's been doing. And a while as he oh as look at that June is just oh. running across this top mid and it will go into force and there's Conquer picking up Limitless and Glad finding magic so it is all to Kraka and Reggie here where are they at in this in this map there's Nova is there looks like a, oh Kraka is on this back B side as this could be a problem but oh there's Conquer with a nice headshot there on to Kraka so it is all to stop and now where where is he at it looks like he's gonna be pushing back on their flank a little bit as he did spot SMG which is Glad and he will take Glad down through that wall with that headshot so it is now a one on two is he gonna play back or the masses should just get this bomb down now as quick as possible before you get stopping a chance but look at this Conquer is gonna be super aggressive here flanking him and he will find that kill seven two five half. Oh, so. no, you were right. Oh, Devin, I... Once again, I, I called it right. I'm going to have to, uh, yeah. I owe, an, I owe you an apology. <laughs> Once again, I did call it right, and most of the time I am right.
so I cannot complain <laughs> at all. But uh, I'm looking at right. the scoreboard right now here. As you can have Limitless coming in at a 14. 14 and 9, you gotta have Crack at 14 and 6, Force at 11 and 7, Magic at 6 and 6, and Stompin' at a 4 and 8. For this Carnal Gaming side, you have Glad at 11 and 9, Conquer at 8 and 10, Master at 7 and 9, Junin at 7 and 11, and Nova at 4 and 10. But you really cannot hate on Nova. I mean, he has been the bomb, bomb carrier for his team, and that's always a tough spot to be put in, carrying that bomb, because you never want to expose yourself too much or just play stupid with that bomb. But they did come out, I would have to say, on a pretty successful half. Nonetheless, though, as, this, as it is a 3-on-4 situation right now, <coughs> oh, excuse me, as the bomb does go down, it's all up to Glad here, though. And a 1-on-2 as he is on the flank. He is in the parking lot going up against Magic and Limitless. It's not who you want to be going up against. So Limitless is still sitting at a 14 and nine. See if he can possibly pick up another kill as he did spot a man back in Flower. Who is that? That is Limitless. So there's going to be a little AK battles. They're both over on that A house, and Limitless will get the better the better of them make this 8-5 now in favor of Psychological Gaming and let's go into Psychological Gaming's war room this round you might be able to beat it what's up? Oh, man, oh, right side I'm open, mate, I'm open, mate Right side, one might be A cut or A arch. Flower, flower, flower. He's down. Conquer was still up at mannequin once he fell back. Did you kill that guy mannequin or is he still yeah. up? He has to stop. Yo, come back with the bomb first. Uh, I got that little one. down. So it's a couple down B already. Right, just give a sec. A cut. Oh my Key. god. Keep. Come on. Why did we go back? Alright, we're back now there and there's Nova picking up picking up a kill there as he's really coming in uh coming in off that bad first happy as he's picked up three kills in the matter of two rounds so far out of this uh out of this pretty much defense side here. Which is, like, I can't stress it the most, the easier side on this map, whether you like it or not. It's easier. I I, Have fun. I think Enjoy. it's solid to the strats. I gotta tell you. Solid to the strats. I think any side, pretty much any defense is easier if you know how to play back and you're not too aggressive. But look at here, he's already on their catwalk area with that SMG picking up, I believe, two kills already here in that round. So great play out of Junior here. Do they have the bomb, though? Where is this bomb at? As it looks like, oh, stop it. Is the is going to be the bomb carrier for psychological gaming, but it, it, this is not where you want to be. 2v5 going up against Carnal here. It is it is all up to stomping and Force, as Force is going to be getting tagged up. Looks like he's just going to prone down. He's going to bleed out a little bit, and he will get his regen on, like usual, in this amazing game that everyone just loves so much. As he's unable to hit that shot, as he makes his way over to that flower pot corner, over in the, that corner, whatever you'd like to call it, sort of a gay corner. As you do have Conquer down here, though, in that A arch, as Force is, they really need to get a kill or make a push. Some but Carnal is just playing it extremely well. They're pretty much trapping them back in this parking lot area whether they have to push back or push forward. It looks like they're going to be making that push forward now as this force makes his way over to gate corner with that scope. He's going to blow up that bear, blow up that barrel, but no kills coming out of it. But Stompin does find Master over at that flower, over at that flower side. So it looks like, like if he's going to be putting down a conquer there, it's going to be finding force. So it's all up to Stompin now. And they're glad he will find that final kill. So great round. Great two rounds that are coming out of Cardinal now. It's 8-7, to seven and they're just getting closer to tying this game back up. Wow, I think I might have to actually eat my words on this one. This Cardinal team's actually really starting to uh, be really strong on defense. And uh, Psycho's holding it together, but they're going to have to be a little bit... They're going to have to avoid some of the nades. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, that's key on every round. I think if you have good nades on any map, I mean, that's clearly going to give you the advantage no matter what if you got early nades or if you got an early spam or an early pick on any map you're gonna win you're most likely you're gonna come out on top unless someone is cheating and just clutches it every round which you never know as COD 4 it could happen but anyways it is a two on four now as there goes Psycho just picking up pretty much all the kills in this round as they only lost Limitless this Limitless and Force is already making his way He's, he is AK now which is kinda surprising he did take down Glad though so it is a nine to seven as you know, it seems like Carnal is just 
inching it back, just getting it close, and just getting it even closer, taking the lead, and then they just lose it, which is just terrible to see. Because, I mean, as much as I'm rooting, as much as I'm rooting for Psycho to come out on top of this one, I would like to see an upset coming out of Carnal here. As look at that, there, the nade kills going down for Carnal this round, going into Kraken, going into Force, but Limitless with the AK-47 does find June and see where Limitless is at, as he does have that bomb on that uh, catwalk area, just gonna hang back, he is the bomb carry now, he's a 3 on 4, so evening things up a little bit more, looks like they're gonna be making their way towards that mid area soon, try to find which way they're gonna go, as you do have, do have Master here, where is Master playing at? I just looked at him. He's in the parking lot, so he definitely could stop in a push. Seems like this Carnal team really just wants to lock down where they're going, but they have evened it up by three on three, really working these Carnal players out and killing them off one by one so they can make a designated push to a bomb site. But where is that going to go? Looks like it is going to be the speed site, although that is the wrong move. They do have two men at. They have one at the top of the street who is cycling through the players here now trying to find who is at the top of that street as it is Nova but he is backing off towards that mid and you do have Glad here down here they're still back by that B house looks like they could possibly be going back to A now oh as there's Limitless he will go into Glad so the bomb is going to be getting baked here as Limitless is going to fire some shots off up to Nova who's on top of that street as they definitely want to get that bomb down his magic will find Nova now so does all of the master in this 1v3 what can he do where is he coming from he's going to be in that B arches, oh, it finally takes a whole 30 bullets to kill Limitless, but he does get the kill down. He's going to be getting tagged up from stomping here, but no kill will transpire. He's going to get his regen on, then probably trying to make something come out of this round here for his team. Can he do it, though? Where's Magic? Is Magic set up perfectly for him? And Magic will get that kill. So it is 10 to 7. Now let's go into Carnal's War Room. Delay <laughs> Um, Fat Alley. I'm gonna throw a delayed skinny, a real delayed one. It's okay. I'm, I'm rotating. On top of mid, going back mannequin already. Mannequin. He's fucking mannequin. Skywalk. Planning B. Planning B. Explosives planted. Are you Third one at the end of A arch. The bomb is down at B, guys. Oh, yeah, crap. that's one we know. Yeah, they. One's down in middle. Let's go. You saw one catwalk. Yeah. They just keep running no more around. through mid to me. Alright, we are back now. Psychological picking up once again. Eight other round to make this 11 to 7. So they are sort of pretty much just running away with this one here on this attacking side. It's not looking good for Carnal right now. They're, if they do want to win this, they have to win every round here on out. Or, you know, they could go into overtime and tie it up. Let's see what's going to happen. I want to follow Magic here with that SMG. Looks like he will wisely wait out the nades, but he almost did just get taken out by a nade. And there goes Nova into Magic now. As it's just like slow, slow around coming out here. Sorry, I was reading something real quick across the board. But Kraka will go into Glad. So they're evening it all up four on four. As this Carnal team is being really aggressive on this defense side. And Psychological is kind of just holding back and waiting for them to push into them. But Force goes into Master with a little nade kill there. So there's three on four. You have Kraka on this B side who is pretty much just flanking all around them. As Nova did pull off from that B side and go back towards that mannequin area. Is the bomb he's being put down? You do have Conquer. There's on that back street, but not not anymore. His Conquer and Juno are taking down. So does all up to Nova here. He does have that AK-47 on that mid. He will take, go into Kraken now, as he will fire some shots off. Did spot Limitless back at that flower area, but he will be unable to get that kill. So he is pushing up finally, as Limitless really is just toying with him, going back and forth from each side, and Limitless will pick that kill. 12 to 7 here now. As this could possibly be the final round. So why don't we go ahead in the and go into psychological war room. Do a nade for the A rush. Uh -huh. Fuck off. Nice to see it.
upstairs again. One's like mannequin here. Can I check my arch? The one up to Good. arches right now, there's nobody in here. Yo! Gr green, green! Right side. Oh, scope his top street yellow car, he's like mannequin side. Fuck it. I knew that was gonna happen. He's fucking market. Be, be catwalk. Oh my god. How's their A set up? Alright, we're yeah. back now. As Carnal is pulling a little bit of life out of them and picking up around there, so it is 12 to 8. As they, they're just so close to psychological gaming, it's just so close to making their way into finals again. Once again, two play loaded here. But you never know what could happen. Carnal could find their hot streak here and get this luck that they've been getting out through this entire Sevo P playoff season. Or this pretty much, not the season, but I'd have to say pretty much this entire playoffs like I was saying but look at this quick push here out of psychological gaming as magic has already made his way into flower with that SMG but master is just gonna be laying down there and we'll be able to take him down so it is a four on five oh but stomping does get the plant down as limitless does get taken down from master here now as Kraken goes into glad as crack as glad was trying to flank there with the aggressive again as Kraken will find conquer once again another kill as force finds Juna now so it's off to master and Nova master will find force though as Kraka will find Master now, as Kraka is having a great round, and that will be the victory for Psychological Gaming. 13 to 8. Great match, and, you know, Carnal's hope, Carnal's hope and luck pretty much just ran out here. And what was my, what was my original pick? I think it was 13 8, right? I think it, it definitely was. was not 13 8, it was 13 to 7. Oh, okay, well, I was one off. <laughs> Yours was 13 to 9, so I'm going to have to say I was a little bit closer, so... <laughs> As I do have one shout out here from Nicholas, he, he would like to say Nicholas over Limitless in Kill House, 15 to 13 and 16 to 10. So just rubbing it in a little bit there. Do you have any shout outs there, Dream Girl? Take that as a negative. So Actually, that is. Actually, I don't have anything right now, except for I want to give a shout out to my team. And uh, also, we're gonna be having that girls versus guys match this Sunday uh, that Erev is going to be casting. So, uh, Devin, you better be ready to get owned because I got a team of girls that are going to kick your butt. <laughs> oh, man. That's that, that's comical. It's pretty comical. <laughs> I can tell you're nervous. Completely nervous. My heart is racing right now. I'm scared. I, I don't know what to say about it right now. But anyways, that is all for us I tonight need, here at I do need oh. to uh, do one quick oh. shout out, actually, DX Cold, which DX is my favorite, favorite, favorite team ever. They're like our big sister team. Um, I have to give a shout out to Dubs from Cold. So, yeah, that's all. <laughs> that's all you got? So we're good We're good now for the third try tonight? And, we're good? Uh, yeah, that's, I think that's pretty good unless somebody else sends me <laughs> something else, but I think we're good. All right, then. Well, that is all for us here at B-Rep. Thank you for joining us for another COD Forecast. That was Psychological Gaming coming out on top of Carnal here. Thank you for joining us once again, and be sure to check out our future cast.